if it ha if it happens, I'll restart the uh, not restart the game, but I'll just uh, turn it off and turn it back on, and I'll see if that. Can... By the way, the reason why I let that uh, I didn't switch out is because I wanted to iron leaves again. I'm trying to see like if there's any like notification from like Game Freak or something like that, like oh yeah, we're currently working on it or something like that. Misspelled progress. I wonder if there's like a, like if there was, there's supposed to be like a dedicated, uh, like route for them that you're supposed to take, and that's why I got glitched. Because I started with the fairy one. Either that, or maybe, like, it's... No, because that wouldn't make any sense why it's just this trainer that's being affected by it. But maybe it's because, like, I did some of it during the story. Like, I did some of the progress on, it, like, in when I was actually doing, like, the Ogre Pond and all that stuff story. But then that doesn't account for why this trainer is the only one that's broken. Why would it only be, like, this trainer that gets affected by this state? Because if it's, like, you have to repeat the, like, the fairy, the electric terrain, and all that stuff, then it makes sense, though, because, you know, it, like, I did, I started those, like, before I should have. I'm just gonna go save before I talk to the guy, though. Like, I'm not even gonna bother healing everybody. I'm just gonna wait until, like... I see the, the fact that it'll have it. I'll take the one website that helps me out with the raid information. I'll see if they have anything about it. This one will actually tell you, like, a better way of defeating all of them. Uh, there are no comments about it. Oh, no, wait, there is. But glitch won't count as battle. You can battle and win. Once you leave the area, they reset. Then repeatedly, but you can't claim the rewards from the guy. No clue if this can be a patch because game freak. Okay. Let's see if the Oner storyline might have like, not this uh, like just to say like soft patched the game. Just soft patch the stuff. I hope it did. Can you repeat? Yes, you can repeat. Okay. I'm going to close the game and restart it and see if that actually changes anything. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna fight that person one more time. I'm gonna go heal everyone. I'm gonna fight them one more time. If this doesn't work, then that's gonna be it.
I have no time for this silly shenanigans. Gonna heal everything. Oops, wrong button. Just a thing. Okay. So, we're gonna go and try it yet again. Wait, the Growlithe, yeah, I forgot about the, uh, the Growlithe. I'm going to take a look at its uh, trainer ID and stuff like that, but right now, we're just going to find out if this will actually work. trick. There's protein. Not like it really matters, though. It's already a grass type. At least nothing else in the DLC is broken. So I'm just taking a look at the... So there is different... Uh, there are different uh, like footwear and stuff like that. So I will have to go in the... the Yeah, and technically at some point I have to go and, uh, buy everything. I might not do the whole money thing for this, maybe, unless, uh, unless Therapy does, uh, something really interesting with it. Alright. I mean, it gives me good experience, or not good experience, but, like, good money. I mean, 7,000. Remember, if I, like, aim the coin now, that's, like, 14k per battle. The only thing is, is that, like, the only reason, the only way that they reset for me to be able to battle them again is if I, uh, leave the area. Nope. Okay, so this is just broken in general. Okay. So what, what I mean by reset is that, like, you know how when you go to, like, something like this where it shows up the display of Kitsukami Hall kind of thing? That means you reset the area. So as soon as you do that, then yeah. Alright, so let's just go finish this off real quick. Okay. Yep. Can I do more? Ugh. It's a slow thing. Yeah, so, like, uh, the one thing I gotta say, though, is that, like, I, I, I don't want to say anything bad about the DLC. Like, I loved it. It was, it had an interesting story in of itself, but, like, as I, like, th this whole bug thing is just making it so that it's, like, it's unplayable. But it's sort of like how when a, when a new game gets released and has all these bugs, similar to Scarlet and Violet when it first released, 
and we still even have those bugs and glitches and stuff like that it i don't want to say it hurts the game's like performance in terms of like how much money they'll earn but again though like this is just interesting that of this issue that's happened it's, it's so weird that like and i don't understand why like why they don't just double check to make sure that like all these side quests and all that are working perfectly because this seems like something that like again these dlcs seem rushed then if that's the case Because I never had a, I never had an issue with Crown Tundra or Isle of Armor. I don't think anything glitched or anything broke. But then again, I think it was, I think it was a year or something like that. Maybe I don't remember. No, because I started the channel when Crown Tundra came out. So that would have been 2020, yeah. But then again, it gave them time, though. This seems like it was a rush project. But they just wanted to finish it off right off the bat. Or just to say, like, hey, we have DLC. Here, here it is, right? But that donation... Oh, my. We've reached our goal of 1 million Pokedollars. Now we can, at last, restore Loyalty Plaza to the way it was. Call a contract at once. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Hello, yes, it's me again. We were able to raise the funds for the project. We'd love to see how uh, see work get started at once. Do we get to see it? I would love to see it. They say they're, done, they're already done. Why don't we head on over to see the fruits of your labor? Apparently for this, it gains passive income, but I'm just going to finish it off right off the bat. I was sad that I only had 900,000, but then again. Oh, would you just look? Thanks to uh, thanks to our we lovely we love loyalty plaza drive, the old monument has been reborn. Goodness, did they ever do a fine job? It's hard to believe, not the exact same monument. We even recreated the scratches and blemishes it had before. What? Haha, <laughs> now that is true craftsmanship and dedication for you. This is just what the village needed. Yes, just what we needed. To draw in more tourists who will want to take photos here. We'll be topping the tourism charts in no time. We didn't even show anything of Ogre Pond, though. Hooray, hooray, come on, all together now. I learned the hooray emote. Yay. I also have a special gift for you, Zarastar, for being our number one supporter. I mean, your only supporter. <laughs> Pistol Jim Bay. We had a bit left over from the fundraiser, so I went ahead and glammed that up for you. Wired out and, and about to advertise the wonders of Kitakami to all your friends in Paldea. Okay. And apparently, if we go down here... Lag. So I love the story. I, I loved it the most when the only thing that they don't like about it is the fact that, like the sto like the the dialogue and the speech kind of thing just took so long out of the story. But then again, it's DLC is what makes sense. I was cleaning and I was cleaning out some of the I was cleaning out one of our warehouses when I found these. I'm not sure what to do with them. You could take them off my hands. Sure, what is it? Pistol Jinbei, white, gray, and Pistol Jinbei, deep blue. Neither Kamai nor Kirin fit this size anymore. I know the colors match my grandkids' Jinbei, but don't worry, these aren't hand-me-downs. They're practically brand new. Okay. Yeah, you get those whenever you finish the game. I just found that out. So, yeah. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Uh, as I said, I'll do some completes, maybe of me just doing some ogre ousting and stuff like that. Uh, there is one thing that I have to mention about ogre ousting that I might not just do on the screen. Maybe maybe I'll try it on my own and see if I can do it. If I can, then I'll do it on screen. We'll just do a, a rough time of it, though. So, 
I wonder if it has all of them right away, or if it's like you have to beat the next one in order for you to do it. Uh, play long. Oh, you have to. How do you get the other difficulties then? Okay. Well, anyway. So how? So well, do we? So apparently, according to online sources, or I think it's just—I think Sarah B told me it, it might just be a, the one I use for raids and stuff like that. Told me that it is the most difficult thing ever to do is to do hard. Hard difficulty is the most hardest thing you could ever do, kind of thing. So yeah, so we'll probably try and do uh, like easier normal kind of thing, and then we'll just kind of try and get a lot of these uh, these mochis and stuff like that. But I think the one thing that I'll definitely do off screen is I will definitely fresh start uh, Garnasha, Walking Wake, and Iron Leaves, and then I will, uh, and then I will. Hold on, my brain needs to catch up here. Uh, I will just go and EV train them uh, off screen so they're like they're all fully done. So that when we do end up getting that patch that will fix up those things, we will have. Not only just EV trained Pokemon in general, but we will also have them at uh, full capacity of what we want them to be at. Wow, they got a lot of EVs, man. Look at that. Jeez. It's Ursa Luna, yeah. So I got to figure out what I want to give Ursa Luna, too. So yeah, so I'll see you guys next time for some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, the Teal Mask.